Hi, I'm Dan with Fresh Point, and I want to take a few minutes to talk with you about the basics of summer squash. This might be the most underappreciated, underutilized vegetables available, but man, if you're looking to make your plant-based offering a center of the plate item, these two might be the way to go. Their texture allows for a myriad of techniques. You can spiralize them and use them as a plant-based noodle. You can cut them into thin planks, marinate them, roast them, use them as a plant-based lasagna substitute. You can grill them, you can pickle them. It's just a great option for your center of the plate offering. Even better, these are typically some of the least expensive produce items you could feature. So not only can you make your plates look a little better and follow the trend, you can save a few bucks along the way. The USDA has two grades for summer squash, number one and number two. We have number two right here. The grades are based specifically on external factors. And as you can see in the number two, a little more scarring, the neck's a little less straight, a little more crooked. While it doesn't affect the overall quality of the squash, it may affect the yield and the amount of time required to prep it. But on the other hand, number two is always a little cheaper. Squash don't like it cold. In fact, they'll start showing pitting and dulling of color if they get too cold. So keep them in the warmer part of your walk-in cooler. They are ethylene sensitive, so take care to keep them away from ethylene producing produce. And while it won't hurt the flavor, it will discolor the skin and the zucchini will eventually turn yellow. They come in a, myri in a myriad of shapes. We have baby zucchini and baby sunburst here. While you could use them the same way as the full size version, these are typically best left whole. You get that visual effect from it, but the flavor is almost identical and the techniques used can be mimicked. I'm Dan and that was the basics of summer squash.